Bucknell, the 14th seed, taking on Kansas, the number three seed. Bucknell from the Patriot League, Kansas, a powerhouse from the Big 12. I'll tell you, well, you know, 12 Final Fours, two out of the last three years they've been in the Final Four. So obviously a historic program here at Kansas. Our roster was built on guys that were incredibly confident in themselves, in our program, in what we had already accomplished. Another three launched and hit. On paper, should we have feared a little bit more than we did? Yeah, probably, but we didn't. Hands, hold on, here comes Griffin. Oh, behind the back, and the flush goes down by Brown. It's clear to say at this point, I see no intimidation by Bucknell. So as the game went on, we just kept making play after play. Count that bucket as McNaughton did some magic down the baseline. What a great move by McNaughton. We had guys that weren't afraid of that moment, and they weren't afraid of failing in that moment. Oh, the faces of March. And Bucknell pulled off the upset over Kansas, the 14th seed against number three. It was exciting, it was breathtaking, just totally awe-inspiring all at once. 63-62 Kansas. Can Bucknell pull the upset? 15 seconds left in Oklahoma City. Down low, jump shot, got it! McNaughton! The inbound, the long pass, the turnaround, Simeon! First, it was just a relief to have competed at that level and to be able to walk away with the win. And then as you kind of got away and shook hands and got back to the locker room, it was kind of like, oh my, look at this, what we've accomplished. I heard from so many alums, coast to coast, bursting with pride. I think to this day, people look back and think that that was a turning point for our program. Five years I spent here were unbelievable. I think everyone's gonna remember back for years the you talk about the time you beat Kansas and that's gonna be a seminal moment in my career remembering that that moment and want to be, come back and be a part of an institution like this where priorities are right, you have the resources to be extremely successful on the court, but you have the ability to track the type of people you want to be around, you want your family to be around. I was very excited and very fortunate to, to get the opportunity. Certainly we've had outstanding coaches and outstanding players, but I think it's the true mark of a program when you can have sustained success over a number of years. The men's basketball team at Bucknell for well more than a decade now has been recognized as one of great excellence that brings the campus together in a unique way. The energy, the enthusiasm around the success of our team is just something that's really special. And the Bison are going to do it again for the second straight year in the NCAA tournament. The Soika Psychos rush the court. And Bucknell goes to the big dance again. Phoenix Johnson, nice work as they get it outside. Okay. Catch and shoot air. A three. As a program, it's not just a team. There are a lot of schools where you have a team where it's year to year, game to game, that you're going to have success. Here, with the way it's set up, I think it's a situation where you can be successful year in, year out. Thomas on the As exciting as the success has been on the hardwood, I think it's even as gratifying to see the success that we continue to have in the classroom, leading the league and Patriot League scholars and academic All-Americans and regularly producing just outstanding individuals who go on to have successful basketball careers, but more importantly, successful nice. lives. Great pass to Mascala, he'll jab it in on the left baseline. Schroeder slips and falls. Mascala for three in the tie, it's good! Mike Mascala on a buck now ties the game at 101 with 14 seconds left. I think that we've got a great nucleus of young guys. We've got some experienced guys back now that have been through it and know what it takes to win, know how hard it's going to be, but are able to embrace that challenge and be able to teach that to the guys coming along behind them. And I think our, I don't think I know, our future is very bright as long as we continue to attract the same type of, of people in the program that are dedicated to both being good academically and being great on the court, that we've got a chance to have special years moving forward. Yes! That's perfect basketball.